there's one thing in your twin flame journey that you do will hurt yourself. And it doesn't matter where you are in the journey, whether you are finding your twin flame, whether you are with your twin flame, or whether you are separated from your twin flame and seeking union. In this video, I'm going to share with you what it is and what you can do instead so that you can have a more peaceful and joyful relationship. So the one thing that you mustn't do is fixation. Here's what I mean by that. If you are too fixated at finding one true love, you are opening yourself up to being exploited. If you are fixated about how your twin flame should act and behave or what they should do, then you are setting yourself up for a disappointment. And if you are too fixated with union, you will keep getting frustrated, depressed and impatient when you and your twin flame are separated. Fixation is in the mind and all fixation does is to cause suffering. It doesn't help you get closer to your twin flame because twin flame connection is here in your heart. It's not in your mind. It's about the energetic connection and the alignment of energy. It's about the shared soul purpose that both twin flame has agreed upon before they set foot on this physical realm. All these are not mind-based or emotion-based. They are spirit-based and alignment-based. The key tonight for mind physician is openness and acceptance. When you're too fixated at something, you close off all other possible options. Opening up your mind gives you more options and possibility. If you are seeking love and if you are wondering if someone is a twin flame or not, remember that you don't have to be so quick at determining whether someone is a twin flame at this instant. If you have a twin flame this lifetime, you and your twin flame will definitely cross paths. You don't have to seek them out or search for them. Both of your soul will bring you two together at the perfect timing. Your intuition will let you know. You'll feel very certain about this deep connection with someone when you meet them. You won't have to read so many articles or watch so many videos and try to find out if someone is your twin flame or not. But your intuition is felt in your heart and your gut and you have a deep sense of knowing. It's not dreaming or fantasizing about someone. That's limerence and that's wishful thinking. That's not intuition. The reason why your mind has to quickly define a twin flame is so that it can remove all the contradiction and establish a fixed narrative. You are left with one person that you are singly focused on and so that you can rule out everyone else. But by doing so, you are blocking out all the other information that can truly help you determine your twin flame. And this can result in very bad judgment. Being fixated on seeking your twin flame is dangerous. When you're so desperate to find a twin flame, you're opening yourself to being exploited by others. Recently, there's this Netflix docu-series called uh, Escaping Twin Flame. The founders are just randomly pairing people up in the community. And because the community is mainly women, they start pairing out women and try to manipulate their gender identity and try to get them to change their agendas. When you're desperate for love and you are very vulnerable, it's easy to get used by other people. Once the mind establishes a belief as fixed, you will rule out everything else. For example, you may think that, okay, this is my twin flame. Everything else is irrelevant. So no matter how the other party treats me, I'm supposed to stick with him or her. Why? Because they are my twin flame. But this is just a very circular argument, can you see? Like, do we question ourselves, the initial belief, and discern whether that person is really our twin flame or not? Also, twin flame or not twin flame, no one is supposed to treat you badly. Just because someone is your twin flame doesn't give them the right to hurt you. Once your mind is fixated at something or someone, it keeps finding new evidence to support the narrative. For example, if you have decided that someone is your twin flame and they don't see it the way you see it, you may start looking for explanation online as to why they don't recognize this connection. You may read an article or watch a video that tells you, oh, they feel overwhelmed by the connection and that's why they are running away. This may be true, but this also may not be true. 
but you will use this information as an explanation to feed into your narrative. And the more you do this, the more you will shut out other information that contradicts your belief. You will start to think, oh, they are my twin flame. They're just overwhelmed without considering that maybe you get it wrong the first place. They are just not into you. As someone who gets into one-sided relationship, I get it why people don't wish to see an alternate reality because they don't want to deal with the emotion that comes with the alternate reality. When you step out of your fixed narration, you have to deal with emotions such as disappointment, rejection, and the feeling of unworthiness. So you'd rather stay with this fixed narration, even though you might sense that something is wrong. Even if someone is your twin flame, it's important to keep an open mind and let go of any fixed belief about what a twin flame should or should not do. You don't want to be like, my twin flame is supposed to do this, 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 this for me. We are meant to be together in a romantic relationship. They're supposed to love me unconditionally. When you read posts on twin flame signs, you want to use this information to help you determine if someone is a twin flame or not. But don't do it the other way around. You don't want to decide someone is a twin flame and then use the sign to determine what they should or should not do. You also don't want to be like, I'm supposed to do this, this, this for my twin flame because that is what the article says. Whatever my twin flame asks for me, I need to give it to them. If my twin flame treats me badly, I need to bear with it. Otherwise, I'm not loving them unconditionally. No, this is not unconditional love. This is enabling someone's bad habits. Every moment is a new moment and you get to decide what you want to do. It's not supposed to be a rigid set of rules that you have to follow to a T. If you are too fixated on what your twin friend should be, you will be disappointed and may even blame them for not living up to what your idea is. Or you may be again exposed to unhealthy relationships. Even though twin flame connection is said to be deep and profound, we all have an ego and our ego may act or behave in a certain way that is not in alignment with our higher self. When you and your twin flame are ego driven, you may find yourself in a constant disagreement or conflict with your twin flame. Your relationship with your twin flame may not be as ideal or what your mind imagined it to be. Relationships are pretty much a 3D physical thing, while connections are a 5D spiritual thing. You may have a strong connection with your twin flame, but both of you may not have learned how to work as a team. We also have something called free will, and we may have chosen to deviate from our soul purpose. Just because you and your twin flame has agreed on a mission doesn't mean that you two will manifest it this lifetime. They may have changed their mind. You may have to come back and do the mission together in another lifetime. And this is where acceptance is very important when it comes to separation. I know a lot of people are seeking union with the twin flame, searching for information on what to do to get a union and being fixated at wanting this elusive union with their twin flame. But we need to take a break and accept that at this moment, we are not physically with our twin flame. It may feel like we are dying inside when we are not with our twin flame, but we won't actually die. We have been living without our twin flame for so many years in the past. It's just another beautiful day we get to spend with ourselves. Acceptance is for this moment. It's not about the past or the future. You're not extrapolating into the future like now we're separated and so we'll never be together forever. Accepting is simply accepting this moment. We are not in a union with our twin flame yet. It's about keeping open and not knowing what will happen in the future. When you are able to accept what is, you will feel much calmer and more peaceful. On the other hand, when you are not able to accept what is, you feel impatient, anxious, or even depressed. You keep wanting to do something to get the person to love you. But the more you do it, the more needy energy you exude, and the more your twin flame runs away. If you find yourself keep chasing after your twin flame, and they keep running away, Watch this next video about the runner and chaser dynamic.